Steamy <laughs> Moon here. <laughs> Steamy beans are coming <laughs> coming at you from the north, and um, turns out I just got a call that uh, the doctor is not flying into Sandy Bay today, and um, so doctor is on the phone with the doctor and just getting some blood work tests done and she's looking she's very happy with my weight loss and um she's uh, speculating that um once i get my blood test done check my levels and whatnot she's going to um in you know talking about reducing medication and whatnot so that's good news and i have pretty much the data myself uh, but with a little bit of cabin fever um, rolled in, and I'm thinking of going for a jaunt, uh, heading off down the road to Flin Flon, do some grocery shopping, have a coffee, maybe a lunch, and head back to good old Sandy Bay. Um, anyways, oh, I was just thinking Christmas was good. Um, is that, you know, and one of the reasons why I think Christmas was good was because um, I wasn't filled to the rim with Christmas music. You know what I mean? I like Christmas music, and I usually like you know the traditional hymns of Christmas and some of the Christmas pop music, of course. But uh, I wasn't up to here in Christmas music as um, many people are. Also, one thing I I um, didn't get into was Christmas movies. Um, I didn't do that on purpose, but it didn't dawn on me that maybe I should watch Scrooge for the 50th time in my life, or It's a Wonderful Life. Great movies, like like them both, and Scrooge with Bill Murray, my favorite. But, you know, I just didn't watch any Christmas movies. I think that helped me with Christmas, like, because I had no issue being at home alone with my dogs at Christmas. None whatsoever. Now, yes, this is, oh, every time I go on cue, before I went on camera, this dog got to the right, Elvis Presley, he, um, every time I go on camera, he gets all hyperactive, but I'm off camera. He was just slumbering and enjoying um, the dream world. But, you know, such is life. Well, it's interesting returning to a spot. Um, in the dead of winter that you know well during the summer and I always thought Flin Flon did a good job on uh, decorating their park um, for Christmas and here we take the window down get a closer look and a um, bit of a winter wonderland and uh, I'm, I'm not sure how far I'll go in just because there's a lot of, you know, well, it's been plowed, but I don't want to risk getting caught uh, too deep here. But, like I said, it's kind of neat coming back to a place that uh, you stayed during the, during the uh, summer. And even the caboose has, a, I don't know if you can see it from here, has Christmas lights on it. So... Closer shot. Well, yeah, it's all lit up, right? I like it. I sure like it. Alrighty, so here I am at the Walmart parking lot, which is right adjacent to uh, the Canadian Tire parking lot. Basically, it's the same parking lot. But um, I'm just waiting for a, a friend who, I, who came up with me uh, to Flin Flon. I decided not to go into either Canadian Tire or Walmart. I know that I would just buy something that 
I wouldn't know that I would buy if I if I didn't go in. So if I stay put, I don't think of having anything to buy. <laughs> I'll just do my shopping at the co-op for food. So not too bad outside. It's well, it's cold, and um, but hey, it's it's the end of uh, December of 2021. It was if it wasn't cold in northern Saskatchewan, well guess what? That wouldn't be too normal. Alrighty, so here I am at north of 53 co-op. And uh just some grocery shopping. I notice when I'm on my weight loss journey, the grocery shopping becomes a lot more easier. I always moan and groan about paying good money for supplements but then again I'm paying less money on groceries not eating out so much I'm not spending money on junk food so here we go all right so let's see what there is I think the only fruit I ever worry about is bananas. Sometimes I'll buy apples, oranges, but I get by on one fruit serving a day, usually bananas. And I get that out of the way. And my next, oh, gotta put my mask on. My next is veggies, onions, Tomatoes, cucumbers, my salads. Alrighty. Two packs. Three cucumbers. And lettuce. Oh my lord, buying lettuce in the dead of winter can get expensive. Six dollars for uh, the romaine hearts. Six bucks for a pack. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. But you know what though? Health comes with a price. People spend twenty dollars on a pack of cigarettes. I'll just buy it on lettuce, you know. It is what it is. Okay, and what else I like with my salad is onion. All right. And no need to uh, worry about potatoes. Chief and council were kind enough to give everyone in Sandy Bay a hamper, which consisted of a, a turkey, and some veg and a bag of potatoes. So, thumbs up for Chief and Council at Peter Ballantyne Cree Nation. All right. They believe in sharing, and of course, sharing means caring. Oh look, I never saw this before. Oh, a half serving for me of pie. <laughs> that would have been a half serving back in the day. But uh, not these days. Not these days. I need a piece of pie like I need a hole in the head. But I might get some pita bread or some type of flat bread where it's healthy, eh? Okay, so if I have to get bread, I get one of these. Or, but I don't know, I don't think this time. 100 calories a slice, that's not too bad. But I want to get a wrap, a tortilla. And I spotted some. Let's see what I'll get. Okay. Here's some tortillas. And this is the kind I'll get. Okay. 
I can't eat bread like I used to where I would eat half a loaf <laughs> a day, but every now and then. Here is Canada's famous dessert, uh, butter tarts. No, these are pecan tarts, but uh, we are famous for our butter tarts. And here they are here. Deadly, 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 but they're so tasty. No, I don't need any. I haven't tasted a butter tart in over a year since I've uh, been on my program. I think the last time I had a butter tart was two summers ago. I was driving back to Ottawa for the summer and I, you know, you don't need them. Okay, chicken breasts. I used to buy these by the boxes, but they're expensive. But if they were on sale, I would have bought one. Okay. Uh, turkeys are on sale. No thanks. So I've decided that I have enough protein, meat at home, that's going to last me for the next couple weeks. So no need for that. Uh, basically, it's just the fresh food that I need uh, to keep my intake of eating uh, healthy salads, eh? Okay, and this is, I wish this was on sale, but it's not. This is my Liberté Greek plain yogurt and uh, mixes well with the uh, whey protein powder they use on my program. The whey protein powder is usually uh, chocolate flavored or uh, vanilla flavored and it uh, makes it, it does a nice trick. It feels like you're having something like a dessert, but it's a protein. Okay, now this is uh, my go-to uh, these days. I usually used to make the popcorn from here, but I, I guess I could if I measure it out. But here, um, it comes in pre-measurement bags and only 90 calories. So that's smart. Brady and the Kicking Horse Coffee, Canadian company. They make a good coffee and it's on sale. I like getting the one called Three Sisters. It's a favorite for many of us, myself included. 10 bucks. You know what? I'll grab two just to keep my sanity and for my coffee when I'm working. Alrighty. Oh, where is it? My uh, special tea that helps me, hold on, ah, here it is. Good old box of Smooth Move, good for the old plumbing system. And I'm gonna get a few cans of my uh, tomatoes because I like to cook those up. And uh, when I'm putting them in a saucepan, I like to, you know, crack some eggs over it and makes a lovely meal and that way you know not only am i eating something healthy um canned tomatoes are very healthy but you know when i put the eggs over it it means that i'm not putting uh oil into a frying pan and uh so you know everything counts eh everything counts here's the salsa i don't need salsa i bought that last time and uh, I'm at the international section, I guess. Alrighty, so that's over $100 worth of groceries that I got. And I used uh, $100 worth of uh, gift cards. So total I paid cash, less than $30 for, for my groceries for the next couple weeks. So. And right now, this is uh, the sky at almost at 5 p.m. So I am going to, um, that's the light above me, but I am going for uh, dinner at Chicken Chef, I think, or another place. We'll soon find out. The plot thickens. 
Alrighty, so just made it to Chicken Chef just before five, just after five p.m. Basically, I had the whole place myself, and uh, I'm thinking I might get the special, which is a strip sirloin. And uh, behind me are the football highlights, but here I get the hockey highlights. And uh, I hope they show the football highlights. I'm just trying to get into hockey this year. I'm finding it last few years. I'm, so the last few years I've been finding hockey difficult to get into and enjoy. Enjoying NFL, but I'm more of a CFL fan. So, let's see what happens. All right, and I probably will get the special. In the past, I usually used to get um, the um, hamburger steak, but you know what? Um, strips, the strip sirloin sounds good. All right, Stacy. So, what did you get? Two-piece fish and chips, coleslaw and fries, gravy on the side. So Alrighty. <laughs> Here's my dish. Nice sirloin steak with diet gravy. <laughs> About two, uh, was it, two calories a scoopful. And our vodka. Okay. Thank you. Alright, thank you. And life is good in the neighborhood. At Chicken Chef. All right, midway through my meal, chowing down, enjoying it. And uh, how is your meal, Stacy? Excellent. Yeah. Well, when you're hungry, you know. <laughs> this is your go-to, eh? When you're here, the fish and chips. Once I find something I like, I get it all the time because yeah. then I'm never disappointed. Okay, well. But that's also what you do when you're over 50. Yes. Well, my thing is usually I get the hamburger steak, but I thought it'd be different today. And chowing down on my. Um, steak, so life is good, man. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's 6 30, even though it looks like it's 10 o'clock, and I am ready to head back to Sandy Bay. And, um, <laughs> alrighty, folks, thanks for watching.